In the year 2017, an innocent man accused of a crime has a choice. Hard time or prime time. Sensational, perfect contestant. I want him. He must pay or play the running man. On your mark! I'll be back. Go! The highest rated TV show in history. Because they want us to stay. It's a game between life and death. Can you lift? Arnold Schwarzenegger is the running man. He's playing for a prize. The prize is his life. How about the life? The running man. Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And this review is going to be on The Running Man from 1987. And the film stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Maria Conchito Alonso, Richard Dawson, Yafa Koto, Jesse Ventura, Mick Fleetwood. Of course, you all know him from, uh, Fleet from Fleetwood Mac. You know, he's the uh, drummer and leader of uh, Fleetwood Mac. Uh, you also have Jim Brown in it. And the film is based off of the novel uh, written by Richard Backman. Now, Richard Backman is a pen name of author Stephen King. So Stephen King uh, wrote the novel of this, but he had a pen name of Richard Backman. And the film was directed by Paul Michael Glaser. Uh, he is known as uh, Starsky on uh, Starsky and Hutch. Uh, he also uh, directed A Guilty Pleasure, a film that I like. You know, it's a childhood uh, favorite, and it's a shitty movie, but he directed Kazam. So, like I said, Kazam is a guilty pleasure of mine. I like uh, Kazam, even though it's a shitty film, you know, with Shaq. The Running Man, this is a film that I have heard of. I watched the trailer to it. And I just got done watching it. And I enjoyed it. I thought this was a fun 80s action film. Uh, be honest, one of my now it's become one of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger films. Uh, this was a film that, when it came out in 1987... It was ahead of its time, and the film is very fast-paced, and it's an enjoyable one. But basically, what the movie's about is, it takes place in uh, 2017, and the U.S. has become this totalitarian uh, police state following this worldwide economic collapse, and the government uh, pacifies uh, this broadcast game show called The Running Man, where criminals fight for their lives as runners. And, you know, these criminals as runners, they're fleeing from armed mercenaries, which they call them stalkers, to earn a government uh, pardon. Now, the film uh, inspired, you know, Battle Royale and The Hunger Games. I, you know, we could tell by uh, watching... By when you watch those films, that those uh, films, you know, Battle Royale and the Hunger Games, uh, you know, franchise, they were inspired by The Running Man. So we have Ben Richards, who is played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's a helicopter pilot working for uh, the police, and he gets framed for a massacre because there's this uh, food riot in Bakersfield, California. He gets arrested by his colleagues and he's put into a labor camp. 
So it takes place 18 months later, and Arnold Schwarzenegger escapes from uh, this labor camp with uh, two resistant fighters, Harold Weiss and William Laughlin. Uh, Harold Weiss is played by Marvin J. McIntyre, and William Laughlin is played by Yafa Kodo. So they all end up escaping uh, the labor camp. They find a uh, refuge uh, in the camp led by their uh, leader, Mick, who is played by uh, Mick Fleetwood of, uh, you know, of course, Fleetwood Mac. So we have uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Yafa Koto and Marvin J. McIntyre. Uh, they want to take down uh, this uh, network's uplink, you know, to hijack it with this network that has the running man on it. So they want to, you know, hijack the network's uplink facilities to expose the government of all their lies. And you have Damian Killian, who is played by Richard Dawson, which he is your main villain of the film. Uh, he, his character is the host of The Running Man. And you all know who uh, Richard Dawson is. Sadly, he's no longer with us. Of course, he was the first host of Family Feud, uh, he was also in a sitcom called Hogan's Heroes. So pretty much his character uh, in the film, he ends up seeing uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, Ben Richards, in uh, this escape video. And so he meets with Arnold Schwarzenegger and he wants him to uh, participate in The Running Man. He wants him for the show in exchange for uh, Yaffa Kodo and Marvin J. McIntyre's character's freedom. And pretty much that's basically uh, what the plot to the film is about. You also have uh, Maria Cachito Alonso, who plays Amber Mendez, which we meet her character uh, when Arnold Schwarzenegger comes into her apartment, which originally was his brother's. But you end up finding that it's now occupied by her. And she's a composer. And Arnold Schwarzenegger's character takes her hostage, and they try to flee to Hawaii. Uh, but... That ended up failing because uh, Maria Conchito Alonso's character ends up learning the security about Arnold Schwarzenegger's character because, of course, his character got framed and he's wanted. So I thought she did a uh, good job uh, in the film. And then uh, she is just soared into uh, the show The Running Man. I thought Richard Dawson as Damon Killian thought he played a uh, good villain. As for uh, the stalkers who are in the other uh, Running Man show, uh, you have uh, Fireball, who is played by Jim Brown, which he did a pretty decent job uh, there for his time uh, in the film. And Jim Brown, he is a uh, former running back for the Cleveland Browns. Uh, he played for them from uh, 1957 to uh, 1965. He is uh, one of the greatest players in NFL history. So that's uh, pretty good. That's pretty good there. So he did a decent job as Fireball. Uh, his character has like a uh, pack and he uh, he sprays like fire. Uh, you have Captain Freedom, who is played by Jesse Ventura, of course, uh, fame uh, from uh, WWE back in the day. He was, of course, the uh, governor of Minnesota from 1999 to 2003. Of course, WWE Hall of Famer, which he was inducted in 2004. So he was in a little portion of the film uh, later on towards the end where he fights Arnold Schwarzenegger. You have Dynamo, who is played by Erlen Van Lidith. I think that's how you pronounce his name, where it's a guy where he's just wearing uh, lights on him. You have Professor Sub-Zero, who is played by uh, Toro Tanaka, which he is no longer with us. He was a uh, former professional pro wrestler. He was a boxer. And he's been in some films uh, that I have seen. Of course, he was in Pee-wee's Big Adventure, where he played uh, the butler to Francis. Uh, he was also in uh, Dark Man, uh, Last Action Hero. He was in Three Ninjas, where he played the henchman to Snyder. So, films that I've seen him in. You know, I thought he played a uh, you know, pretty uh, decent villain. Uh, 
you know, in here. And, you know, the film, it does have, you know, it's comedic one-liners, you know, from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, there's a scene where, you know, he ends up signing the contract uh, because the lawyer wants him to sign the contract. So Schwarzenegger ends up signing it uh, with the pen. He takes the pen, jabs it into the lawyer's back. So uh, the lawyer has the uh, contract and the pen stuck to uh, his back, which uh, was funny. And Schwarzenegger ends up going to him, don't forget to send me a copy, <laughs> which, uh, you know, was funny. I actually uh, like that uh, scene there. And then you have, you know, him do his liners where uh, at Fireball, he ends up, uh, you know, just breaking the, uh, I guess, the uh, the fire uh, thing that quits, you know, uh, Fireball shooting the, uh, the fire from the pack. And he ends, up, he ends up taking the stick of dynamite, Arnold, and he tosses it to Fireball, and he goes, how about the light? And then with Dynamo, you know, with, you know, the character that has all the lights and, you know, the, uh, you know, light up Mohawk, he goes to him, he goes, hey, lighthead, hey, Christmas tree. <laughs> and of course, uh, with uh, Killian, played by Richard Dawson, he takes the camera in one scene. He goes, I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach and break your goddamn spine. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, that's what you get from Arnold, you know, his liners in the film. But it's a very fast-paced film. It's way ahead of his time. It's very 80s because of the, you know, they use the neon lights uh, in the Running Man, uh, you know, place the studio. Yeah, you have, you know, the uh, effects, which, you know, at the time looked pretty impressive, but, you know, they come off dated. But it's a fun uh, action 80s film. And I love the uh, the song in the end, uh, Restless Heart, uh, Running Away With You by John Parr. You know, it's a very good song there. And the film was a moderate box office success when it came out. It had a budget of $27 million, and it made $38 million uh, here in the U.S. And originally, Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, wasn't the first choice to play uh, Ben Richards. Christopher Reeve, yeah, Superman, was once attached to play the character. So that, that's, that was pretty cool to know. That Christopher Reeve was once attached to play uh, Richards. And Paul Michael Glaser, in an interview, he ended up saying that he was originally approached to direct the film. And he declined because he felt that the pre-production was insufficient. So Andrew Davis was then hired. But he ended up getting fired after two weeks because the production was, uh, at that time, behind schedule. So... It was behind schedule by one week, so Paul Michael Glaser was rehired, to which Arnold Schwarzenegger came out and stated that that was a terrible, a terrible decision, rehiring back Paul Michael Glaser, because Schwarzenegger ended up uh, feeling that uh, Glaser shot the film like it was a TV show, which lost all like deeper uh, themes of the film, and Schwarzenegger believed that that hurt the film, and uh you have the uh, the dancers, you know, as the uh, the Running Man uh, show uh, was trying to get started, and you see all those uh, dance sequences. Uh, they were choreographed by Paula Abdul, uh, which I did not know, so that was uh, pretty cool. But the Running Man, it is a good movie. Really enjoyed it. It's a fun uh, '80s action film. Uh, that was way ahead of its time. And if you like Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is a film to uh, definitely uh, check out and watch. I would definitely recommend it. So, But this is a film that, you know, like I said, Battle Royale and the Hunger Games films, uh, they were inspired. Uh, you can tell that they were inspired by The Running Man. So, But The Running Man is definitely uh, a film to check out if you guys haven't seen it. There is talks of them doing a remake. Uh, it was announced uh, last year that Paramount uh, would make a new 
uh, adaption of the novel and that the remake would be more faithful to uh, the novel and that Edgar Wright will be uh, directing it. So kind of curious uh, to see what Edgar Wright does uh, with the remake. You know, Edgar Wright, you know, I, lo I love Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I enjoyed Baby Driver. You know, I enjoyed Ant-Man. So I'd like to see uh, what he does uh, with this remake of uh, The Running Man if, you know, it ever gets done because there's no uh, current news about the remake. So, but interesting to see what Edgar Wright does uh, with the remake. So, but anyways, that's it for my review of The Running Man. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed uh, this review. Definitely give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later tonight with the Monday Night Raw review. So see you all tonight for Monday Night Raw.